Hey guys, now it's time for our second tutorial that is how to make CSS loading spinners. Loading spinners plays a vital role in website user interface and are often used to determine that a website is completely loaded or not and is ready to be used. Big players like Facebook and Google uses them to enhance the user interface. In this tutorial, we'll be using HTML, CSS, and some JavaScript code to make a spinner work. We'll be using CSS for all our animation and styling, while some JavaScript code will be used to hide the element or a spinner when the web page has completely loaded, and HTML to create a simple div element with id loading that is a spinner here we have almost completed our html markup so let us do some styling to make it visible and make it more attractive and appealing to the eyes hash loading to attach all our styles to the spinner here we'll be setting width and height boot to 50 pixels because 50 pixel is an idle size for the spinners across all devices border 5 pixel solid has cgc or you can use gray over here we'll be using setting border top color to something else whatever you prefer here we are using orange to make it a complete circle, we'll be using border radius 100%. You can see that it is now a complete circle. Now we'll be bringing the spinner right into the center of the window to ensure that it will not get scrolled up will be using position fixed to fix the position left 0 pixel right 0 pixel top 0 pixel bottom 0 pixel to bring the element or our spinner directly into the center margin auto we will automatically set mar margin to the various screen types no matter whatever it is now we'll be assigning animation so that the spinner will actually rotate will spin from 0 to 360 degree and then 0 to 360 0 to 360 actually we are making it go round and round we'll be using other eight keyframes because we are not specifying any kind of webkit or anything because now it is not necessary for all the browsers you can use it from transform rotate zero deck to transform rotate 360 deck so here we've completed our animation section to specify the keyframes now we'll be attaching this animation to the element or a spinner so we'll be using animation round two seconds or two s linear to make a consistent speed infinite so that it won't stop in between you can see it's quite smooth and going like nothing it have no tension so now it's time for a javascript code we'll be inserting javascript so that when the page is completely loaded it will automatically hide the loader no matter how long does it takes but it'll hide within a few seconds you we can use jquery also over here but we're using JavaScript because it's more understandable. 
so let us do it first we'll be attaching a script to the main HTML document or if it's in a simple script tag we'll be using script src uh, name of the script here it is script dot js then we'll close a script tag you can see in the video to script src script dot js and here we close the script tag now we'll be assigning on load function to the body because it only fires when the window or the page has completely loaded and now let us check what happens okay first we'll be writing javascript function hide loader it's a custom function no matter what you name it it will work document dot get element by id it'll call the element by id here it's loading it should be same as given to the element style dot display dot none it will not delete the element it will us it will set the style to display none which will totally disappear in it so let's check out it's gone because our page don't have that much of size so now we'll be attaching some dummy images to the page these dummy images will increase the load time of the page and will help us to check the consistency of the loader and how good it looks on a page that is loading here i'll be using images of my previous web projects that are quite not beautiful but i hope you may like it and we have attached the images now to reduce the load time even more we will be setting throttling to the gprs in chrome in network tab by using inspect element we'll be also disabling cache so it won't load fast now let us hide the dock now reload now oh i forgot to save the page let me save it mm, it's done so let us see get ready oh spinner has come because it's just code and it's nothing while images are taking time because they're quite heavy one might be is at the size of one megabits so you can see i'm scrolling it too much but it is not affecting the spinner the spinner is right between the middle of the page no matter how much you scroll it it will stay inside uh, stay in the center of the document it will always set uh, stay in the center of the document scroll it scroll scroll it no matter and now once the page is it is it has disappeared so i hope you may like it do subscribe me help me to grow and make sure to share i hope you liked it